Hi everybody, Honest John here. Uh, I'm an atheist, part of a small but growing minority in the United States and in the world. So naturally, since I don't believe in God, I don't believe that he was involved in the creation of any religion or the inspiration of any books. So as far as I'm concerned, there's no such thing as a holy book. These books were not inspired by God, they were written by men, flawed, imperfect men. And those flaws and imperfections carry over into those books. Now, there are good things in those books, things that we ought to pay more attention to than we do. Things like do unto others as you would have them do unto you, love your neighbor, help the poor. Thou shalt not kill. But there is also a lot of crap. Uh, let me give you an example. <clears throat> According to the biblical law, back in the Old Testament, which was, regardless of the fact that it's the Old Testament, still inspired by an all-perfect, all-knowing God, a man could get out of being punished for raping a woman by marrying her. So this all-knowing, all-loving, all-perfect God was perfectly willing to stick a woman with her rapist for life. Not very perfect behavior, if you ask me. And, and, and there's a lot of other crap like that in the Bible. An eye for an eye. Uh, justifying vengeance, thing, a lot of stuff. And that's why one person can read those holy books and become a philanthropist, and another person can read the same book and become a terrorist. And both of those things are justified in those books. Justified, by the way, according to people thinking, by God. So the way a religion is practiced simply reflects the character of the people who practice it. One example of this is the story of Onan. Now, Onan's brother married a woman, but he died before he could consummate the marriage. But according to the law back then, God's law, Onan, was then had the duty to cons consummate that marriage. This law nowadays would be considered barbaric and immoral, but back then it was God's law. And now Ona didn't want to have children with this woman, so he pulled out and he spilt his seed on the ground. And God pun punished Onan for it. Now that's not the end of the story, because this weird, obscure, and bizarre story is interpreted by modern day Christians as God being against birth control and abortion. And when you think about it, it's quite a stretch. And it just goes to show that people could take any story that they want in any of these holy books and interpret it any way they want. That's why they so often are used to justify evil. For example, a lot of racists belong to southern white evangelical Christian churches. And they use the Bible to justify their racism. And we had a whole lot of of so-called devout Christians support Donald Trump and even say that he was he was chosen by God to lead the country. The truth about religion is that not only does it not make you a better person, it is often used to justify people's worst instincts and horrible acts. Thanks for listening.